Welcome to The Art of Dress. Today, I'm happy to share with you the effect of style on olive green air coloring. Thank you for coming and thank you for subscribing. We are looking today at Emily Radajowski and Jessica Alba, both who have, of whom have olive green air coloring. And what I want to show you is how their style in particular, but also their artistries affect their colors. So first, let me show you their colors. Here you have the color wheel for olive green air. And the color we're going to focus in on today is olive green on, it's approximately at three o'clock on this wheel. And that is the prime color. Now for the air colorings, whatever happens to the prime color happens to all of the colors. So what is it that I mean by happens? So here you have a wheel that shows you all of the styles and the line down the center shows you vertical line that they're different. On the right hand side, these styles shown by style symbols affect the colors to be more intense. And the refined natural is approximately at three o'clock on this wheel, sorry, down one from there. And that is refined natural. That affects um, the, the colors to make them more intense. And on the left hand side are the styles that make the colors lighter and that's going to be for us today, elaborate classic. And that's that one is approximately at nine o'clock. So just to the left there on the middle. There's something else that happens to colors as well though. Let me show you on this wheel. So this is showing you on the outside of this, like a ring of the element colors, that is the prime colors of humanity arranged according to fire, air, water, earth. And on the inside are the neutrals. So the neutral we're looking at today is tan. And you can see it's right next to olive green there. So what happens to colors uh, with the tan and the green, the olive green, when they go warmer is they go towards yellow. And if they were to go cooler, they're going to move towards ochre. So we're going to see both of those movements today because of the artistry. So here we have Jessica Alba and her artistry is harmonic. So what happens to her colors? Well, first of all, we already talked earlier about a style. And so the style impact is lighter. Her colors are going to be lighter. And the second impact is as I said, harmonic artistry, the colors are going to be more cool and more clear. Why is that? Harmonics colors are, for all harmonics, cool in their warm colors and always clear in these first group of colors. So that's what we're seeing here in this jacket. A little bit clear, a little bit cool, not a warm olive, but still olive green. So now here's Emily Radajowski. So she is a completely different combination. She is refined natural to start with. So her colors go a little more intense as you can see in the jacket. She is sculptural. So her colors are warmer in her warm colors and more muted in this group of colors. So it's the exact opposite in every way of Jessica Alba. So Emily's jacket is more intense. It is more muted and it is more warm. So here's another example of Jessica Alba. And again, wearing olive green, it's moving towards, certainly towards ochre. And it is quite light as you would because of her being elaborate classic. It is quite cool because of her harmonic artistry. And it is quite clear, again, harmonic. Now here's Emily wearing olive again. It is more intense because of her refined natural style it is warmer because of her sculptural artistry and it is more muted because of her sculptural artistry. Here we have our first tan. Now when tan is such an interesting neutral because when it goes 
lighter because of her style, because it goes cooler because of her artistry harmonic, and it goes more clear because of her harmonic artistry. What you see looks, it's like a bone. And now here's Emily's a solidly a tan because of her style, it is also more, uh, more muted and it is also warmer. Here's another example of Jessica. Once again, so beautiful on her, this almost bone kind of a tan color. It is light, it is cool, and it is clear as far as tan goes. And here, lastly, Emily, a beautiful, warm, slightly intense, slightly muted version of her neutral tan. So thank you for sharing this with me today. Next, we're going to move on to the fire colors that will be next week. Reminding you that on the website is your own personal consultation, style, artistry, and coloring, and also discover articles which give you a sort of a general understanding of different aspects of the art of dress. So thank you very much for coming again and for subscribing. I look forward to seeing you soon. Please take care. Thank you.